اي واه ندير لكم واحد السؤال هذوك مثلا واحد الليمون ديال الفريز علاش يديروا هاد المضاقات ديال الفريز واش باش يدوقوا ولا شنو هو الاصدقاء اليوم غادي نشوفوا كيفاش يتصايب الكوندومز هما الواقع الذكري هو هذاك انا حشمت والله الا انا حشمت بلاص مابقايش نحشم حق الله المواضيع اللي تديروا لي هنا Every condom is made from a natural material called latex which is harvested by tapping it from rubber trees. Ah, quelque chose qui est tabé à ça. Quelque chose qui est très tabé. Me fait ce perdu chimique. Pure latex from Asia is shipped regularly to the Mapa plant in Seven. Oh, really? This latex meets highest quality requirements and a sample is taken from each shipment to test its quality. Oh, do you see the type of shipment here? That's a good one. I think it's a good one. Wow, I wish it had him. Once tested and processed, the latex mixtures are filtered and made ready for the actual production of the condoms. Give it a jibs. The next processing step is called the dipping process. Rotating glass formers are fastened to a computer monitored endless chain. In the initial phase, these glass formers are cleaned and dried before they are immersed for the first dipping process. They are slowly immersed into the latex mixture and equally carefully come out of the dipping tank again. In this step, it is important that the latex film gets an even and wafer-thin strength. Uh, oh, Next, the rotating glass formers are passed along drying and curing ovens, where the latex film is dried. 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 To produce safe condoms with an adequate thickness, every condom is immersed and dried twice. All temperatures as well as the immersion speed are constantly monitored to ensure smooth operation of the fully automated immersion chain. Another important processing stage of condom production is the creation of the rolling rim. For this, every condom is given a rim at the open end of the former that can be rolled down. A final drying process called vulcanization makes sure the condom has the required elasticity. Now the dried condoms are stripped from the glass formers to be washed and dried. During this process, the condoms receive the required yeah, dry coating. Later. Next, they are subjected to electronic tests. This is the test during which a high voltage is applied between metal forms and rotating carbon fiber. If any voltage passes through an otherwise insulating condom, this condom is faulty and will be rejected immediately. This uh, pinhole test makes sure out. that all condoms to use are 100% pinhole free. Still out. Once tested and rolled up, the condoms can now be wrapped into their primary wrappers. Okay, let's see how it's Fully automatically, each condom is sealed airtight into its own sealing foil. Here, each condom type also receives its specific lubricated coating and Billy aromatic boy. flavor. Billy boy. To meet the consumer's high quality requirements, these sealed condom batches are now subjected to a whole series of elaborate inspections and tests. Test dub. Oh, the look we did with the Thus, the international standard ISO 4074, for instance, requires that spot checks are made, ensuring that the bursting volume of a condom after an artificial aging process, respectively, until the actual expiration date, must amount to at least 18 meters. All marker quality condoms exist. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going
باش ما يتقطع عليك علاش يديروا داك التيست كل تخيل ما كل واحد يديروا له تيست بوم حيت لا كان متقوب مشيت يخلع ضبرتي عليه الصاله يخرج لك شي ميتين محمد يخرج لك شي موحش يخرج لك شي ميتين كريم توا شوف الناس اللي واصلين الصاله The second test of these spot checks examines the condom stretch resistance. Here, stretch coefficients of 700% and more of the original coefficient must be reached. Finally, another pinhole test completes this series of tests. This time, the condoms are placed over an electric conductor and filled with water. Then they are immersed into a water-based solution to check whether any condom tested has a pinhole. If the electric circuit between the conductors in the condoms and the voltage source in the basin closes, one of the condoms has a pinhole. Such microholes are not visible to the naked eye. As the use of condoms is not just a matter of trust and safety, but also affects hygiene, the condom batches are subjected to another voluntary examination, which ensures that they are microbiologically clean. Under sterile conditions, the condoms are cut and immersed into a sterile solution. This solution is then vacuum filtered and subsequently checked for any germs that might have been passed on. This extra check is documented by the DLF quality seal printed on each single condom pack. Every final package is automatically fitted with a manual outlining the correct use of the condoms. The lot number and the expiration date. The correct weight of its contents is also checked. <laughs> Next, the packs are packaged into the respective sales units and into cardboard boxes. Finally, the condoms are sent out to the retailers and thus to consumers all over the world. The Billy Boy trademark range offers a variety of different condom types to meet all consumer needs. Billy Boy Fun, the condom with the fun factor. A large choice of surfaces, colors and aromas ensures variety in lovemaking. Okay. So, I have a question. Now, for example, one of the lemons, the fries, what do you do with the fries? Why do you do it? Why do you do it? If you ask the question, I'll give you a little bit. 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 Wow, wow. Feel beard, 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 perfume. Wow. I'll call him on the phone. Bye, bye.